Hi, it's Allison from Use Cloud Tutoring Center. I have some polynomials here, and we are going to classify them by degree, number of terms, and then also identify the leading coefficient and constant term. So let's start with this guy, and let's begin by talking about the number of terms. The terms are separated by the negative here and the positive here, or between the subtraction and the addition. So we can underline the terms. Here's one, here's one, here's one. This thing has three terms. When a polynomial has three terms, we call it a trinomial. Now let's talk about the degree. The degree is the highest exponent that you see in the problem. The biggest exponent we see here is a 3, so the degree is 3. When the degree is 3, we call it cubic. So this is a cubic trinomial. Trinomial. There we go. Hmm, my handwriting wasn't awesome on that, but it says trinomial. All right, now let's talk about the leading coefficient. Just like it sounds, leading coefficient is the first number that you see. It has to be attached to the biggest degree term. So the leading coefficient here is the 2. The constant term is the number that has no variable associated with it. So that would be this guy. So the constant in this problem is 9. All right, so let's take a look at another example problem. All right, so first, um, I want you to notice that this is not written in what we call standard form, meaning that the biggest term is not first, the biggest degree. So we're going to rearrange the term so that it says negative 5x squared plus 6. It's important to write the terms in descending order so that you can correctly identify the leading coefficient. So this um, has two terms. Remember, terms are separated by addition or subtraction signs. So here's one, here's two. The degree is also two. That's the biggest exponent that we see in the problem. When something has two terms, we call it a binomial. And because it is squared, it is a quadratic binomial. The leading coefficient in this problem is negative 5, and the constant term, the one with no variable associated with it, is 6. We're going to do one more example. All right, so now we have um, three terms, 1, 2, 3, so that means it is a trinomial. The biggest degree that I see here, the biggest exponent, is the 4. When something is degree 4, it also has a special name. So we've already heard trinomial, and we've heard binomial. I'm sorry, we've heard cubic and quadratic. And so degree 4 has a name also. It is called quartic. There we go. So this is a quartic trinomial. The leading coefficient, that's the number in front of the biggest exponent, is negative 1. And the constant term, is 17.